we want to solve these logarithmic equations. Now, the easiest way to do this is if they both have the same base. Now remember the base is the big number and the little number is the exponent. So we want to get 5, 3x minus 6 equals 125, so they each have 5 as a base. So I'm going to rewrite the left hand side. Now, 5 to what power is 125? Well, 3 is. So now that the bases are the same, so you see they both have a 5, those are your bases. Once those are the same, I can just set my exponents equal to one another. Now I need to get x all by itself, so I'm going to add 6 to both sides. But I still have 3x equals 9, so the opposite of multiplication is division. Divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 3. So that means that your solution set for this one is a 3. Could you just leave it as x equals 3? For me personally, that's great. I just want you to get the answer. Now, what about the one over here on the right? Well, we know that we've got an 8 and a 4, but I don't think and I know there's no bases that are the same for that. So the only base I can think of that has 4 as a factor as well as, as, well as 8 is 2. So let's go ahead and kind of just do this stepwise. So 8 is 2 to what power? Well, it is 2 to the third, but now that's just for 8, so I still need to have that x plus 2 hanging out. Then 4 is 2 to what power? It's 2 squared. Again, that's just for the 4, so now I have x minus 3. So now what do I need to do? Well, I need it so just the bases are the same, which means I can't have any of those parentheses hanging out. So if we have a power and then I have the other power, remember what are we going to do? Well, we're going to multiply those. But I'm going to go ahead and write that step out first. So this would be 3 times x plus 2 equals 2 to the 2 times x minus 3. 3. So now the bases are the same and I can set the exponents equal to one another. Now if you already multiplied it out that's fine. I just kind of want to make it so we can see exactly what's going on. So I am going to use the distributive property and get 3x plus 6 equals 2x minus 6. I'm going to get all my x's on one side. I think subtracting the 2x makes more sense in my mind. And then I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. So that cancels and that cancels. So I've got x equals minus 12. Now again, the solution set, if you need to, is minus 12. Again, for me, x equals minus 12. I'm all good with that.